Welcome back to your Algebra 1 Semester 1 final exam review. Uh, we're looking at problem 23, which for this year is dealing with parallel lines. Um, if you picture two parallel lines, maybe I'll put one here and then I'll sketch one that was hopefully better than that, that is somewhat parallel to the other. The reason that they're parallel is because they're both sloped in the exact same direction. They're both pointing upwards at the same angle and they're never going to cross each other. And the reason they're never going to cross each other is because of that slope. They actually have the same slope. So we need to remember for this problem that parallel lines have the same slope. So let's maybe make sure we can identify the slope for each of the answers first and then go back and try to answer the actual question. First equation, y equals something times x, and we should remember the number multiplying by x is our slope. So it looks to me like our slope, m here, is negative one half. This y equals eight's a little harder because I don't see any x's there, so I'm actually going to rewrite this. And since there aren't any x's, I'm going to say there are zero x's here plus eight. And now, when we've written it like this, the number multiplying by x is 0, so it tells us our slope is 0. C and D look scary, but the number multiplying by x should be apparent. 2 is multiplying by x here, so that's our slope. And negative 1 eighth is multiplying by x here, and we also have our slope. So at this point, I see all four slopes. They're all different. We have negative 1 half, 0, 2, and negative 1 eighth. And of course, the question is, all right, good job. You found all those slopes which one of them is the same as this equation up here? And you might be tempted to look right away and say, well, but this equation has a slope of 4, so what, that, what's going on? That's not the same as any of the other slopes. But you need to remember back to what your teacher hopefully taught you, or you hopefully remember, in that in any equation, we always want to make sure y is isolated before we start trying to address what the slope is for the equation. And right now, y is not isolated. 8 is multiplying by it, and 4x is adding. So let's go ahead and isolate by subtracting 4x first. We always undo that addition and subtraction first. Um, so we end up with 8y. 32 and negative 4x aren't like terms, but it's most common to put the number with x first. So I'll put the negative 4x first, and the positive 32 next. And then last but not least, we divide off the 8 that's still attached to y. And don't forget, when you multiply or divide to a side, you need to do that division to every term on that side. So I need to do negative 4 divided by 8, and I need to do 32 divided by 8. So cleaning this up a little bit, negative 4 over 8 looks like a fraction. It is, and we can reduce by, I think, dividing by 4. So if I divide the top and bottom by 4, I end up with negative 1 half x, and 32 divided by 8 is 4. Now I've isolated y, and we should be able to identify our slope. The number multiplying by x is negative 1 half. Which one of these has a slope of negative 1 half? That is a. Those two lines are parallel because even though they start at different places, they have the same slope. 